Hi, and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, I want to count the number of days between a request date and an approval date. But the situation is I might not have an approval for all of my requests. So if you look at the entry in row number four, where the request date was January 10th, and there has not been an approval yet, you still want the duration column to count the number of days since January 10th as of the current date. Once you put that approval date in there, it should no longer continue counting the days uh, as, as time goes by. So this is, we will use the if function to help us with this. So this is kind of another uh, version of a previous example we did on this, but someone was asking about about this on the channel. So I want to just do another example. So we'll start with in cell C2, we'll do equals if, and my logical test is to check whether or not there's a date value in cell B2. Now there's a few ways you could do that. One way is to check to see if there's a value at all. I mean, let's say you know you're gonna put dates in there. So you're really just checking to make sure there's something in there. So if you simply say, B2. So saying if B2 basically means if there's a value in B2. So my logical test is just the cell itself. So I don't have to set it equal to something. That's one way to go. So if there's a value in B2, then you want to take B2 and subtract the start date or the request date, right? So if there's a value in B2, you take B2 and subtract the start date. Otherwise, you want to take the current date and subtract the value in A2. So that way, if there is nothing in column B, it'll use the current date and subtract the request date. So there were 89 uh, days between November 14th of last year and uh, February 11th of this year. Now, to show that this is working, if we delete the approval date of, of February 2nd, then this number should go up, meaning that the approval process is still underway. The approval hasn't happened yet. So let's do that. Let's delete it. You see now it says 119. So if there is no approval date, the approval process is still underway. And it's just tomorrow this is going to say 120, right? But if we put that value back, it's down to 89. And then I can just fill that formula down. So where there is a date, it's going to use these two dates to figure out the duration. If there isn't an approval date, it uses the current date and that's it and the today function and the if function together allows us to make this happen i hope this makes sense and is useful for you please check in again soon for more excel demos with rich kerr have a productive day peace